capacity crowd jams Yankee Stadium to see this year's renewal of the Army Notre Dame Classic. General George C. Marshall, new Army Chief of Staff, is among the 70,000 spectators all set for the battle between the undefeated Irish Terrier and the Army Mule. And here's Governor Lehman. But now for the game, with Army kicking off to the Irish. It's a long boot to people who brings the ball back to his own 30-yard line. And next it's Sheridan who picks up more yardage around left end. It looks as if the Irish are ready to go to town right in the first quarter. A few plays later, People chops up a first down in a wide sweep around his own left end. But Notre Dame luck temporarily deserts them. People fades and lets go a long pass that's tagged touchdown, but Hatch intercepts for the cadets. But in the next quarter, an Army fumble and a recovery by Notre Dame puts them in scoring position on the cadets' 30-yard line. Then Crimmins picks up 10 yards as he battles his way to the 20-yard line. Mike must know what's coming, and come it does. Stevenson, Irish halfback, fades back to spot his receiver and calmly lets go with a long aerial right in the arms of Arboit, who doesn't have to move from his tracks. Then Stevenson again, going around his right end behind a convoy of blockers and cutting in to get across that payoff stripe with Notre Dame's first touchdown. But the crowd's biggest thrill comes in the middle of the final quarter. It's Army's ball with Hatch back for a pass and a desperate attempt to score. It's a long heave, but intercepted. Vagaris of the Irish has it, and he pulls the run of the week as he snake hips down the sidelines, stays in bounds by some miracle, goes for a touchdown, and Notre Dame blanks the Army. <laughs> <laughs>